Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show, I'm your host Definition and after a huge two weeks of Stranger Things reveals, I thought I'd take a look at one of the alternate theories about the show's ending as well as the evidence to support it. Whilst the majority of people, including myself, believe that the post credit scene of Stranger Things reveals the fate of one of the key characters, there's actually another big possibility and throughout this video I'll be breaking down all of the evidence that shows that maybe not everything is as simple as it seems. Now from here on out we're turning the spoilers up to 11 so if you haven't seen the final episode of Stranger Things 3 and don't want to know what happens then I highly suggest that you turn off now. If you're still here thank you so much for clicking the video, now let's get into my alternate ending theory for Stranger Things 3. Okay so just a quick wrap up of what most people think happened at the end of Stranger Things. In the final action scene of the finale we saw Jim Hopper trapped on the walkway that housed the Russian weapon that was being used to open a tear into the Upside Down. Jim left with no real options escaped through the doorway into the Upside Down and then from here he was picked up in Kamchakta through the other tear that the Russians were seen to have been creating in the opening of the first episode. He's held prisoner and is locked away in a cell whilst the other captives around him are fed to the Demogorgon. It all makes sense and seems pretty straightforward, however there's an alternate theory that the American in the cell could in fact be none other than Dr. Brenner aka Eleven's father. But what evidence is there to support this? I mean Brenner did die right didn't he? Well not really. Whilst he was attacked by the Demogorgon at Hawkins Middle School at the end of season 1, similar to Hopper, his body was never found and he was never killed on camera. You know the rule of TV, comics and the Halloween movies right? If there's no body, they're not dead. In season 2, 8 brings up a projection of Brenner to inspire Eleven and there's also some lip service paid to the fact that he's still alive and out there. In addition to this, there are several interviews with the Duffer brothers in which they've confirmed that Brenner is still alive and they even stated that he would be making an appearance in season 3, though this never materialised. Or did it? Well, if he is the prisoner in the cell, then that means that he still made an appearance in some way in season 3 without actually being on screen. Whilst I would love for the prisoner to be Hopper, it doesn't really make much sense that the Russians would actually keep him alive. Hopper can't really offer much to their experiments and if he were to escape he could blow the whole thing open. Brenner on the other hand is a master scientist and the Russians would want to keep him alive purely for the fact that he could help improve their technology and provide them with more ways to access the upside down and build psychics. There's even potential that Brenner has been held captive by the Russians for a long time and he is the real genius behind their experiments. Eleven has also apparently lost her powers at this point and we saw in season 2 that even just a projection of him was able to get her fired up once more and on a rampage. In season 4, Brenner could once again be used as a way to make Eleven regain her strength and become even more powerful. Whilst I do think Jim Hopper is alive, there's always been one point in my theory that I've never been able to explain and that is, how did he get from America to Russia in the Upside Down? It's far too distant to travel and I can't really see him making the journey there on foot. Though I do think Hopper did flee to the Upside Down in the finale of season 3, it doesn't mean that the Brenner theory is untrue either. What if in the finale we saw Hopper hop into the Upside Down and then from there we cut to Russia to see Brenner in the cell. It grants both characters a way to come back and I definitely think it works. The more I think about it, the more it makes sense and I can definitely see this being the case when we get to season 4. Obviously I'd love to hear your thoughts on this theory and if you agree with me or not. Comment below and let me know and if you enjoyed this video then please like it and make sure you check out my breakdown of the hidden voicemail message in Stranger Things Season 3 that gives us some hope about how Hopper could still be alive. I'll leave that linked at the end and hopefully I'll see you over there after this. I also just want to let you know that we're giving away a free copy of Avengers Endgame on Blu-ray to one lucky winner and all you have to do is like this video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and leave your thoughts on the theory in the comment section below. The winner will be chosen at random on August the 10th and the Blu-ray will be shipped out from then to whoever gets the prize so best of luck to everyone who takes part. This is a channel for people who are never missing television so if that's the kind of thing you like you need to subscribe to Definition. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this, you've been the best and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.